we are starting a new series on applying google apps script to solve problems google apps script is a scripting language provided by google to write applications this app script can be attached with our google sheet also it is similar to microsoft provides vb script to extend functionalities of excel sheet in the same way google provides google apps script that we can use to extend functionalities of google sheet google apps script contains various functions these functions will have logic to solve problems so these functions we can call directly or these functions can be called when some event occurs so in this video we will learn how to create our own functions in google apps script and then how to use this function from our google sheet so let's get started first let us understand the problem we want to solve here we have one file name which i want to do reverse for some purpose to do reverse i do not have any inbuilt function which can reverse this string so in this case we want to write our own reverse function like this and then we are going to supply this file name into that reverse function when when i hit it should return me some result at present it is giving error because this function is not defined so we are going to define reverse function in our google apps script so let's see how to do that so we need to attach google apps script with this google sheet for that we need to go to extensions click here on apps script if you click on that a new apps script will be open in script editor which will have one empty function already defined called my function now first we save this project with some meaningful name so i give it name as a string operations i say rename and now here i am going to write my own reverse function so what is this function let me show that how it works function is a one block which contains logic so to this function we are going to supply some input message and it is going to return that message in a reversed way so this is what we are going to do so we can say this is a our reverse function here we are going to write some message and in the output we'll get that message as reversed so this is what we are going to implement in this video okay so let me write here a reverse function so this is my reverse function so it's taking one string or message as input then we have defined two variables one is uh, to store our result and second we'll find out what is the length of the current message means how many characters are there in this particular message then we have written a for loop where we start reading characters from the last index and then we go towards the first index so that's loop we have written here we create a variable called index we start it from message dot length which will give us total number of characters because the index starts from 0 we take msg dot length minus 1 Uh, that will be the index of the last character we repeat till we reach to the very first character of the message and in the in, in each iteration we decrement index by minus 1 uh, we get character from this msg string one by one using this index variable we store that retrieved message in the reversed message so basically this is a loop to reverse any string once we reverse string that reverse string or reverse message will be in this reverse msg variable and we simply return that uh, message 
Now, once we define this function, we need to write a testing function. So, we can make sure that this reverse function works as expected. So, let me write one test function here. So, you can see here, I have written test function, which, which takes one message called hello. We call this reverse function using reverse of m. We print it on console log. Now, let us run this and make sure that this reverse function is working as expected. So, we need to go here, top, we need to click this run menu, but we need to select that which function we want to call. So, here you can see in the drop down, we have two functions reverse and the test. So, because we have defined these two functions, because I want to run this test function, I click on this test and I click on the run menu item and at the bottom we will see the output. So, you can see here the message has been reversed. So, this is a uh, testing of this reverse function. Now, we are going to use it in our Google Sheet. So, let us come back to our Google Sheet here. Now, since reverse function is defined, we can use it as if this function is existing in Google Sheet. So, I write reverse and I supply this string as an input string. I hit enter key and you will see that the message has been reversed. You can use it for some other string also. For example, here I write say hello world and see that message will get reverse. So, in this way we can define our own logic in form of Google Apps Script and we can use it. Now, you might think that why I have done this. So, later on what I want to do is I want to split this file name into two parts. One is the folder name and second is the file name. Now, there is a function called find which can find the first occurrence of this forward slash. What I want is not the first occurrence of the forward slash, I want the last occurrence of the forward slash. So, for that purpose, I am reversing a string. In the next video, I will show how to split this file name into two parts. Thanks for watching and happy learning.